What were they making behind the Iron Curtain? And Americans must have been the bad guy for the most part in every single one of those shows. So we went and made one. Comrade Detective, starring Channing Tatum, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and Nick Offerman as the Captain. First question is sort of how did this work? Did you guys ever go to Romania? Did you read the script? <laughs> I mean, uh, you obviously read the script, but was it in English and Romanian? Well, first, um, Brian Gatewood and, and uh, Alex Tanaka, they, they just came in and sort of pitched this insane idea. And uh, I mean, I'm a fan of like 80s and 90s. <laughs> like anything action during that time was like, uh, that was like when I was a kid. So I, I saw everything. And every single one of those shows or you know, movies, whether it be Miami Vice with like all the materialism that that was, that was. I mean, I, they were always in like some like pink pastel suit. I wasn't suit. allowed to watch Miami Vice. You weren't allowed to watch it? Mm -hmm. Probably good. <laughs> I was, that's why I, I turned out the way I did. Uh, anyway, but um, you know, and then, but they always had like a Russian bad guy and, uh, and or some sort of communist like bad guy. And I don't know, I've never thought of it. Like what were they making behind the Iron Curtain? And Americans must have been the bad guy for the most part in every single one of those shows. So we went and made one. Of a lot of bootlegs is what they're making behind the Iron Curtain, I imagine. I, well, Probably. no, they were making real, they were making real, <laughs> real shows, Did man. Did you watch stuff? Yeah, well, I mean, on YouTube, they're all on YouTube. You can go look at them. I will. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever go to Romania? Were you ever on set? We didn't know. Uh, Did you go and I didn't know? No, I didn't. I didn't go to Romania. I would love to go to Romania one day. Mm -hmm. I, I have some Romanian heritage, actually. Are you Romanian, Russian? I think I'm like an eighth, an eighth Romanian. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough for them to buy you <laughs> drinks. I'm sure they'll buy you drinks. I'm gonna way. tell them when I get when I get to Bucharest. I'm gonna be like one eighth. Eighth bitches, <laughs> right here. <laughs> Vodka. How was this recording process different from the animation work that you guys have done in the past? It was pretty different. Like for me, I, I actually thought it was going to be like animation, and uh, and there was going to be a little bit more free, and and we could improv and and kind of just make things up, and it wasn't like that at all. I mean, we we really did verbatim um, everything that we could do verbatim, uh, language wise, uh, what they were saying. I did one animated movie uh, called Treasure Planet, which I think is you know uh, the way that they do it traditionally, where the actors record the dialogue first. Uh, and then they get that audio bed and then they storyboard to that and they animate to that. Um, so that's not what we were doing because <laughs> the thing was already all shot and done. Um, so I did do one other animated project, but it was kind of more of a dubbing job because it was a Miyazaki movie and is you know, originally performed in Japanese. Although what I came to understand, they told me, the, the Studio Ghibli guy told me that when, when Miyazaki makes movies, they do the animation first. They do it in the reverse order of what they do uh, in the Disney feature animation. They wow. do the animation first, and the actors have to, you know, conform their performances to what they did with the animation. Um, so uh, dubbing that into English from the original Japanese, yeah, you were just kind of following what was already there. And with with Comrade Detective, that's what it was. was there were these great performances, you know, like the the guy that I was dubbing over. I felt bad dubbing over him because he, he genuinely gave a great <laughs> performance. Um, Cornelio Ulici is his name, uh, I think. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing it though. Um, still haven't had the pleasure of meeting him. And, uh, but he gave such a great performance, I just wanted to sort of do it justice. Well, congratulations on the show, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank Thanks. you very much. What's your secret? I always bet on red. Comrade Detective.